In this video we're going to take a look at uh, some cell styles. The cell styles are in the styles group. We're still on the home tab here. And um, if you click on the down arrow you get a bunch of choices here. And one neat thing here is Excel does a live preview. If I pause the mouse over one of these styles uh, I'll see what it looks like without actually having to select it and I can try some other options until I find the one that I want. Um, all this style is is a collection of formatting options. So it's like a font name, a font style like bold or italic or underline. Uh, it's a font color. Uh, it may be a border. It may be a fill color. Um, any combination of those things. And uh, they all have names. And these are all predefined names that Microsoft has given. And actually the ones that I use most often here are the ones in the titles and headings row here. Let's uh, let's take a look at those. I've got my budget is the title of the whole thing here. And I'm going to choose uh, title for that. And that will give you something uh, that's bigger than everything else. Now I've got uh, some column headings here. And... I usually want an underline under those, and the only difference is just different sizes here. Uh, that's a little bit too big, I think. Uh, let's try heading three here, and that will give me a bigger bold blue text uh, with uh, a line underneath. Uh, let's take these over here. And I probably do not want a line under those that look kind of funny over here, so I'm going to choose heading four for those which simply makes them uh, blue and bold and um, no borders. And the last thing I'm going to do here from my cell styles is total. Uh, total line uh, typically has a bo single border on the top and a double border on the bottom and I'm going to click on that and my total line now has a single border above and a double border below. Uh, if you you know if you want to do some of these other uh, font or style options, um, all of these here are what are called themed styles, and they depend on what the particular theme is that you have chosen right now. So it picks uh, six colors here: uh, accent one through accent six in different degrees of darkness or lightness. And if I go and change the style or change the theme rather. This is on the page layout tab. If you change the theme here, you're going to get different sets of colors. And I don't think I can move this. No, I can't. So you can't really see unless I scroll over here. How about if I scroll? And that's not going to work either. I can't push it down any further. Um, and you can also select different color combinations. So let's pick this red-orange one. And now if I go back home and I click on my cell styles, uh, you see these colors are not the same. They depend on what you have both for a theme and for the selected colors within that theme. Now most of the time I just go with the default theme, and you probably will most of the time too, and the default colors. And let's go back home here, and that's pretty much everything you need to know about cell styles.